Aloha, friends and family. I wanted to take you guys down to our secret beach spot. I've been working all day long. Went to bed at like 3 a.m. last night and been on the computer since like 8 this morning all the way to like 3 this afternoon. So I was like, I need a break. And I literally haven't left the house since the last time we came down to the beach. But this spot, this spot is epic. I took the hard way down. I don't know why. Scraped myself up a little bit already. I haven't even stepped foot on the beach. Oh. Ah. Oh. There we go. Does that camera make you guys nervous? It makes me a little nervous, but uh, it feels good to be fully insured too. <laughs> What are you working on, Scrammies? A sandcastle, but Mommy and Noah won't help me. Oh, yeah! Could you? You, help? you want me to help? Yeah. Yeah, I'll help. Okay, um, we're gonna need to make it flat and then put something on top of it, but we're gonna need a pointy. I mean, I'm not a professional sandcastle builder or anything, but I, th I think we did okay right there. What do you think? Usually not a cold pizza fan whatsoever, but apparently the beach makes it okay. Yeah, and that it's the best homemade pizza ever. What's that? I said, and that it's the best homemade pizza ever. I will concur. If it wasn't the best homemade pizza ever, I would not say it just because Hillary's standing here. Any words of inspiration for people who aren't able to make it to a beach spot like this? Um, yeah, I mean, there's always somewhere where you can go that's going to be, well, I shouldn't say that. Lots of places you can find a little nook of nature tucked away. Even if you're in a city, there's usually a, like an arboretum or a community garden. Um, or maybe just lay in bed and listen to ocean sounds. <laughs> so, Leah Moon. What do you think about the current state of the world events and how it's affecting the global economy? <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and let you guys interpret that. Good helping, T. Taking a coral reef on hey, the outside. Eli. What? What? Do you know? Um, castles. What about castles? That they have knights surrounding them, and they have armor on them, and they have helmets on them, make a pointy snout, and that's all I know. Oh, oh, that's a grump, grump right there. Noah hurt his shoulder a little bit. Is it this one? This one? Well, stemmed from his rib injury. Mm. He fell off the deck, hurt himself a little bit. A little? A lot. Eh. <laughs> uh, knocked the wind out of me, and it hurts. And Is that the first time you had the wind knocked out of you? Uh, yeah. There's a couple things I got coming for you guys on the channel. In the next video, I'm going to be interviewing Chad Brown from Ship Your Reptiles and asking him questions about. Uh, just shipping in general. Those guys work really closely with FedEx, who is the main company that ships all live animal shipments, with the exception of Delta, who actually has curr currently canceled their, their live animal shipments with Delta Dash, I believe. Um, but I don't want to talk about it too much because I, I honestly don't know a whole lot about it, but I 
but Chad, who is a professional in shipping and has been for many, many years, I think will uh, be able to shine some light on what you guys can expect as far as reptile shipping stuff, but just expect that on the next video. Oh man. Or we can make a flat wall. Nice work, guys. I guess. Hey babe, do you want this or can I have it? Uh, I want it. Mm. <laughs> you had one, didn't you? Share? You, didn't you have one? A small one? A small one? <laughs> like, like one of these? Like a little can version. Oh. Uh, we can share it. Okay, thanks. What are these? For those of you that aren't able to access a place like this right now, I hope that this channel brings that feeling that you need to you by me bringing you here virtually on video. That's, that's really what I hope. And uh, I'm trying to make a point of being more responsive to the comments down below and making a point of really getting down there and, and replying to as many people as possible. Uh, just keep in mind that I, I am staying incredibly busy. Actually, it kind of blew me away today how busy I really am. It's, it's really mind-blowing. I'm very fortunate. I'm thankful to be that busy with all the work I've got going on. But uh, I, I also want to make sure I'm down there doing what it was that I started this channel for in the first place, which was to find people, reach out to people, and, and meet people that are, that are here online watching these videos. It's been really amazing so far and I've, I've got no plans to to stop what originally got me started so as soon as we're done here at the beach and when I was cleaning the snakes this morning I noticed that Beatrice our Mochino retic she had a fresh shed well I noticed it's kind of hard not to notice <laughs> but I wanted to show you guys her and maybe talk a little bit about Mochino genetics and how they work with albino and you know, mocha and endocaramel and all that. If that's something you guys are interested, if that's something you guys are interested, leave a comment down below, and, and maybe I'll do a whole in-depth video on it. But at the very least, I'll, I'll touch on it tonight. see how this goes. Uh, full disclosure, I just ate a bunch of Mexican food. I am also now uh, <laughs> forgetting to put the mic into the right spot. It's nighttime now. I'm I'm a little loopy. I'm tired. I still got this laptop stuff to figure out. I don't want to waste Chad's time. And I, the reason I don't do live stream interviews on the internet is because I, I need to control the quality and make it good. Uh, full disclosure, I don't really know what I'm doing. Mochino. All right, let's see how many of these things that are in very close proximity she tries to attach herself to. <laughs> this is Beatrice. She's a Mochino reticulated python. If you guys don't know anything about Mochino, it's an allelic combination between mocha and clog strain albino. She happens to be het purple. So if you guys know anything about ball python genetics, you know how candino works and candy and, and that stuff, how it's allelic with uh, albino. Same type of thing as Mochino. It's another type of T positive albinism so there's another strain called uh, indo caramel and it does the same thing as mocha it does the same thing as mocha which is lines up on the same locus point as the albino the clock strain albino so again this girl happens to be het mocha and het purple albino so you can get the same thing with a, a het white and mocha you'll get a mochino now if you have an indo caramel animal that's het endocaramel and say het purple or het clerk albino whether it's purple or white and then you get what's called an orange glow and it's all fun cool stuff it's it's simple recessive stuff that happens to all be on the same locus point on the on the chromosome so it's all allelic it's all an allelic combination that's what it comes down to and one of the pairings i was planning to do with this girl right here down the line was uh, a boy that i got through garrett he's a uh, 
orange glow motley which the t positive albino mo uh, motleys are kind of my favorite retic morph and so i'd get all kinds of cool possibilities out of that the thing is i i've decided i haven't tried decided to pull the trigger on breeding retics yet i would be interested to do a retic breeding if there were enough people already on board that were ready to take care of the snakes that i felt were responsible down the line that's been my main holdback from doing it is just knowing that there's lots of responsible homes I need to find for these animals because they get big and not something that everybody's ready to care for for a whole couple decades necessarily and I, I just don't want to see them get passed around you know what I mean I just don't I just don't want to see that happen so down in the comments below let me know if I was to do a retic breeding how many of you guys would be interested would and how many of you guys keep retics already that might almost be one of my prerequisites is that I want the person to already keep retics i mean i'm not gonna set that in stone but it would be really nice this is my girl she's a beauty i, I love hanging out with her man i first got her as a baby just like i all get all my snakes as little little babies come over and hang out with me full disclosure again i know that's full disclosure it's the mexican food it's like little mini burrito truth bomb mixes i <laughs> I was thinking about it and I would I would really like it. I would really like to be able to make a living just making these videos just straight off YouTube. Just spreading good vibes and having support. It's a toss of a needle into a thing that it is highly unattainable. <laughs> but but it would be cool. Wouldn't it be cool? Wouldn't you guys like to do that? I, I would like to. I'm don't get me wrong, I'm already happy with a lot of the stuff I'm doing. I'm very happy with how everything's going. But I always could be better, right? Always could be better. So on that note, as of this moment, we didn't quite hit the goal on the last video for hitting all the, the thumbs up button as many times as we needed to to uh, make me happy with my own special problem of needing things and stuff and Whoa, don't go in. No, 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 don't go in there. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you tell them. You tell them. Smack that like button if you guys enjoyed this. And we'll keep bringing the good vibes for y'all, all right? Night and day, right? Yeah, daytime beach, nighttime snake. It's a whole different animal. Whole different brine animal that comes out when we bring the animals up. But I love you guys. You guys take care of yourselves, all right? Aloha. Ho, 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 one last thing. Don't forget, please, to go to the link in the description for the virtual reptile show that's happening this weekend. It's only $5 to enter. That means $5 you can get your whole family in. It's going to be from 10 a.m. to 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, May 2nd. That's this Saturday. I will be in there in one of the rooms. This is going to be the first virtual reptile show ever. So we're, we're testing it out. We're going to see how it goes, and I'd love to have you guys come in there and, and check it out with us and and help us get it off on the right foot and maybe see if it uh it messes up and we can all make fun of it so <laughs> either way i hope to see you guys in there link in the description peace and i think it i think it turned out all right what do you guys think <laughs> whoa whoa mm. Mm.